as we saw before, manger is a tricky verb because I miss you translates into tu me manques in French. Why? Manquer is also a very elegant verb with lots of expressions to sound more French even to the French. And this is what we're going to focus on today. The expressions with manquer to sound fluent and authentic in French. This is what you will be able to do after watching this lesson. As a beginner, I want you to focus only on mastering the I miss you translation. Intermediate, use the synonyms of manquer as much as you wish. If you're advanced, you will know expressions with manqué, which will make you sound so much more French. You can download the full written lesson in PDF format of this lesson on comeinfrances.com so you can take notes on it, save it for later, share it with your friends, highlight it, read it in the metro, whatever you wish, it's completely free. You just go to comeinfrances.com on the blog post, you leave your first name and email and you get the PDF immediately. Bonjour, c'est Géraldine. Bienvenue sur Comme une Française. C'est parti. The translation of manquer à quelqu'un and the structure of this translation of I miss you is something we talked about in a previous lesson. A full lesson on that. It was part one of this lesson. So, Check it out if you did not see it, especially if you're a beginner in French. Then only move on to today's lesson because it will give you the foundations about understanding the use of manquer in French. Manquer is a very elegant verb in French and it has different meanings and different synonyms, okay? So for example, the most famous meaning of manquer is about l'absence, which is the I miss you meaning, okay? So for example, a synonym of manquer is être absent, être absent ou faire défaut. Faire défaut, which is a very nice verb in French, which I like very, very much. For example, this meaning of absence is something that you can see in the example. Il te manque deux points pour réussir ton examen. Il te manque deux points pour réussir ton examen. Okay, so here you can see this is what is missing from you. You're missing two points to get your exam. That's the meaning être absent or faire défaut. Then, manquer has another angle, which is l'échec, failure, l'échec. It can be something that you didn't reach, you didn't succeed at, or you voluntarily didn't do. So it's, we put it in failure, but it's very, very wide. A synonym of manquer in this one can be raté, for example, which is a very famous verb. Raté. For example, you can say j'ai manqué mon train, I missed my train, or j'ai raté mon train, j'ai raté mon train, I missed my train. So raté is a very simple synonym of manquer. Another one is échoué. Échoué is really to fail. Échoué. Échoué, you can hear the same sounds in échec. Échec, échoué. So it's a synonym of manquer. For example, j'ai manqué mon coup. J'ai manqué mon coup. It's for example, I missed my shot. Okay, I tried something and I didn't succeed. J'ai manqué mon coup. Here you can say j'ai échoué. J'ai échoué. Another synonym that we have for manquer is loupé. It's a familiar form of raté without being vulgar. It's not vulgar, it's just more familiar. Loupé. Loupé. Loupé, for example, j'ai manqué la cible or j'ai loupé la cible. Here, as you can see, you can take one instead of the other. J'ai manqué la cible or j'ai loupé la cible. J'ai loupé la cible. So again, you can use manqué, raté or loupé here because they're all the same. Another one that I like very much is séché. Séché. Why? Because séché in English is to skip. It means you avoided it on purpose, but with sometimes not intent because you wanted to do something else. Okay, séché, it's to skip, séché. For example, you could say j'ai séché le cours de la dernière fois or j'ai manqué le cours de la dernière fois. You can use one or the other. J'ai manqué le cours de la dernière fois or j'ai séché le cours de la dernière fois. I skipped last week's uh, lesson. Here, we usually use that uh, when it's about students, okay? We don't talk about 
we don't use this verb very often in other contexts. It's mostly about students skipping class. Now that we saw some synonyms which are very, very nice and fun and make you sound more French, here are five expressions with manquer. Manquer in general, the expressions and the synonyms, is something we covered in depth on one of my classes, which is my only live classes, which is Le Salon de Géraldine. It was very, very fun. It happens twice a month and we have a live uh, lesson about a topic of the week, which can be news, it can be French politics, it can be grammar, culture movies, singers, anything that is more about French uh, in general. And we go very, very in-depth about it and it's a full class in French. So join if you want. The first expression is ne pas y manquer. Ne pas y manquer is something you can use very easily. Ne pas y manquer. For example, appelle-moi demain, je n'y manquerai pas. Appelle-moi demain, je n'y manquerai pas. Call me tomorrow, I will do it. It means I will do it, as in I will not miss to do it, okay? So it's a bit tricky, but the idea is ne pas y manquer is actually I won't not do it. So I will do it. Je n'y manquerai pas. The second expression is manquer à l'appel. Manquer à l'appel. Manquer à l'appel means to be missing from uh, the list of names that we're calling out on, literally. Manquer à l'appel, but it means to be missing from a group, for example. Manquer à l'appel. For example, seul Julien manque à l'appel, nous sommes inquiets. Seul Julien manque à l'appel, nous sommes inquiets. Only Julien didn't arrive or isn't answering, so we are worried. Seul Julien manque à l'appel, nous sommes inquiets. The third expression is ne pas manquer d'air. Ne pas manquer d'air. And students from le salon told me it was to have a nerve. I didn't know this expression before, to have a nerve. Ne pas manquer d'air. In French, we can also say il est gonflé ou être gonflé. Être gonflé. For example, Paul m'a demandé de lui avancer l'argent pour son cadeau. Il ne manque pas d'air. Paul m'a demandé de lui avancer l'argent pour son cadeau. Il ne manque pas d'air. We could say il est gonflé instead. Paul asked me to uh, give him his money for his gift in advance. He has a nerve. The fourth one is manquer de respect. Manquer de respect is to lack respect or to disrespect someone. But usually it's on a very precise time and situation. Okay. For example, for manquer de respect, en me parlant comme ça devant tous les collègues, le chef m'a manqué de respect. En me parlant comme ça devant tous les collègues, le chef m'a manqué de respect. When he talked to me about This way, in front of all my colleagues, the chef liked respect to me, disrespected me in a way. En me parlant comme ça devant tous les collègues, le chef m'a manqué de respect. And the last one is a fun one. Rater or manquer une belle occasion de se taire. Rater or manquer une belle occasion de se taire. This one is a bit tricky because it says um, you're missing out on a good way to just shut up. So you talked too much, literally. You talked too much. For example, for manquer une belle occasion de se taire. En révélant cette histoire à tous ses collègues, Michel a vraiment manqué une belle occasion de se taire. En révélant cette histoire à tous ses collègues, Michel a vraiment manqué une belle occasion de se taire. Here, belle doesn't mean beautiful. It means big, a big opportunity to just shut up. Let's see if you remembered what we just said. How would you say in French to have a nerve? I just discovered this expression. To have a nerve. How would you say to skip? Especially when it's students skipping a course. To skip. How would you say a familiar synonym of manquer? What do you think? Well, to have a nerve is ne pas manquer d'air. Ne pas manquer d'air. Remember, ne pas manquer d'air. We also say être gonflé. To skip is sécher in French. Sécher. Yes, like to dry in English. Sécher. And at last, the familiar synonym of manquer is louper. Louper. 
Et toi, write one sentence with a synonym or expression from this lesson in the comments below the video, especially on communfrances.com where I try to read all the comments. For example, you can say in French, je ne manquerai pas de télécharger le PDF de la leçon sur le site de Commune Française. Je ne manquerai pas de télécharger le PDF de la leçon sur le site de Com une Française. Good idea! If you like this lesson about the verb manquer and the expressions and synonyms about it, please search with your friends. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can put a thumb up. That would be fantastic. You can also subscribe to the channel if you want to avoid missing any lesson. You can also share it on Facebook, on Twitter, by email. You can also tell your friends about it. And even better, share it with your French class. They might like it as well. If you want more spoken French, subscribe to get my 10-day everyday French crash course on communfrances.com. It's a completely free 10-day mini course to sound French, even to the French. Uh, you just have to go to communfrances.com if your first name and email and you will get lesson one immediately. It's free, you can subscribe anytime and unsubscribe anytime. Students seem to like it, so come on, join us. I wish you une bonne journée, une bonne soirée, maybe une bonne nuit if you're going to bed right after that. And I will see you next time. Allez! Salut!